Hello, this is Michael, and welcome to Medlock Method Chinese Language Builder. 你好，我是邱老师。And we're still at the hotel reception, aren't we, 邱老师 ？Yes, we're still at the front desk. Will we ever get to our hotel room? Ah,、uh, very soon. Very we, soon. We get there at the end of this lesson, don't we? Ah,、uh, yes. <laughs> More or less, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Well, one of the things that you want to know is about breakfast, so you need to ask what floor is the breakfast served on. That's right. So, let's give you a little test. Ask me, what floor is breakfast on? So you put the breakfast, the subject first. That's right. Breakfast at which floor? Breakfast at which floor? And often it's in the basement, isn't it? Or the first floor. The first floor, the basement, or the top floor. Yeah. So we're going to work with basement. How do you say basement, Chiao Lao Shi? Tell me in the basement. You can see D is earth, okay, or ground, and Xia is under. So under the ground, D Xia Lao Lao is floor. And in many Chinese hotel, well, I think all Chinese hotels, you don't show your keys. You have to actually have a breakfast voucher, don't you? That's right. Yes. So we need the word for voucher. Juan. Tell me your breakfast voucher. Your 早餐券 And how would we say "don't forget to bring"? 别忘了带 Tell me, don't forget to bring your breakfast voucher. 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 Don't forget to bring your breakfast Ask me what time is breakfast. Tell me from seven till ten. Seven to ten. Here you don't have to say from from seven to ten. Just seven to ten. Now, in many Chinese hotels, there would be a choice of Chinese style or Western style. So we need the word for, for breakfast. For breakfast, yes. So we need the word for Chinese style first. Zhong shi, shi is style or pattern. And how about Western style? Xi shi, xi is from Xiyang, so Western Ocean, Xiyang. So she she. Let's ask the receptionist. Is breakfast Chinese style or Western style? Right. Let's have a little review of that with a bit of ask me, tell me. Ask me what floor is breakfast on. 早餐在几楼 ？Tell me in the basement. 在地下楼。Tell me, don't forget to bring your breakfast voucher. 别忘了带您的早餐券。Ask me what time is breakfast. 早餐是从几点到几点 ？Tell me from seven till ten. 七点到十点。Ask me, is breakfast Chinese style or Western style? 
早餐是中式的还是西式的 ？Tell me Chinese style. 中式的，你给中式的早餐。Uh, mm, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> could be interesting. Could be interesting. Yes, or you、mm. could get your friends to take you out to a nice restaurant for <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Now we are talking about your room. So you're talking about which floor and how to get to your room, aren't we? Yeah. You should be able to get this. Tell me, your room is on the fifth floor. The new word, elevator. 电梯 so literally it means electric staircase. Yeah, step. Yeah, that's what I love about Chinese. It's so literal. You can work out, especially what modern words are going to be. Yeah. Ask me, is there an elevator? 有没有电梯 You're going to get some instructions now. You're going to be told the elevator is just ahead on the right. How do you say on the right, Chiarosha? 在右手边 And just ahead. 前头 So how do you say just ahead on the right? 就在前头右手边 Let's put it all together. Tell me, the elevator is just ahead on the right. Now we're going to assume that you're carrying a lot of luggage with you, and you want a bellhop or a porter to help you carry your luggage to your room. In China, actually, it just the human resource or Just manpower is so cheap. It's just loads of people hanging around. <laughs> exactly, exactly, and also, also, it's sort of a、uh, people love to have、uh, other people to help them to show the social status. Yeah, you're the king for the day, so、uh, everybody should be doing everything for you. In China, I think so.、Mm-hmm. Yes.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, the people are very friendly. Yes, and I love to help as well. Put in this way, you give them a chance to earn a little, little bit money. Yeah, give them a little tip at the end.、Mm. Mm. So we're going to ask, can I trouble you to call a bellhop to help me bring the luggage to the room? That's rather a long one, so we're going to break it down. The first word we need is bellhop. We don't have that, but we have a a person we call 小弟 and many persons. Okay, many people are called 小弟小弟 literally means little brother, little younger brother. It's just someone. Who just does stuff? Yeah, and it can be in the office as well, can't it? Sometimes. Yes. Yes.、Yeah. So, so 小弟 is a a term for someone doing anything or everything or whatever, hanging around, doing nothing as well. <laughs> <laughs> on call, not doing nothing. They're on call. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> and we need to say, can I trouble you to call? 麻烦您叫。So can I trouble you to call a bellhop? 麻烦您叫个小弟。And the last part of the sentence is bring my luggage to the room. Can you remember how to say luggage? 行李。And we would be using the ba pattern for 行李 wouldn't we? Hmm. Ba. So how would we say bring my luggage to the room? 把行李提到房间。And、T because you have to lift it up and carry it. It、That's、requires、right. effort. Yeah. So one more time, please, Joel Osher. 把行李提到房间。And now help me bring my luggage to the room. 帮我把行李拿到房间。Let's put all that together. Can I trouble you? To call a bellhop to help me bring the luggage to the room.
麻烦你叫个小弟帮我把行李提到房间里。Okay, here we have 里 is inside the room. 提到房间里。Just in case they leave it in the front door. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go back and review that one in a moment. That's a bit of a mouthful. And the, now it's the question of tipping, and we're going to ask: Do I need to tip? How would you say tip, Chiu Lao Shi? Xiao Fei. So that's little charge. That's right, little charge. Okay, Xiao Fei. Ask me: Do I need to tip? 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 Use or not use, it means do I need to? And the answer for this one will always be no, won't it? That's right. They were telling you 不用 but、uh, again, in the big cities, they are used to, especially if they have a contact with uh, foreign uh, travelers, tourists, and they are used to that. So do give them tips. Just a little bit of money, just a few yuan. Yeah, five to ten, I think. Yeah, yeah. between a dollar and a euro. Yeah. Okay. So. It, they are used to it, but mind you, years ago, even just ten years ago, when we give people xiao xiao fei, they cheers after us and say, 不用不用 We try to give it back to you. <laughs> that's right, that's right. They feel embarrassed and they feel that、uh, they were like the boss they, would think they, that you'd been cheating them or something like that. No, no, cheating, sorry. no. The boss would think that they'd been cheating you. Sorry, should I say? <laughs> Not only that, they, 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 they themselves will feel embarrassed. You like you give the tip, like the way you give. Beggars some money,、hmm. so for them, it's they are not treated right. So they feel they actually feel insulted. But not anymore. In small cities, people still feel that way.、Mm-hmm. Okay, but big cities, I think they're used to that. Okay. okay, we better review this with a bit of ask me, tell me. Tell me, your room is on the fifth floor. 您的房间在五楼。Ask me: Is there an elevator? Tell me the elevator is just ahead on the right. Ask me, can I trouble you to call a bellhop to help me bring my luggage to the room? Maybe you call a 小弟帮我把行李提到房间里 Ask me, do I need to tip? Tell me no. Well, sometimes they they might have the answer. They say, 随便 It's up to you. Yeah, 随便随您随您的便 Okay, or 随便 Okay, follow your convenience. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Now, we are giving keys. We're going to get to the room. We're really <laughs> going to get to the room. <laughs> get the keys for us. So, how do you say keys, Jiaoshi? 钥匙 Tell me, here are your keys. 这是您的钥匙 And you're going to be told something that might be a little bit strange to you. You'll be told, "Please look after them."、Um, <laughs> it's just an odd thing for us to hear. Yeah. How would you say, "Look after them," Cholasha? 保管保 is to protect, and 管 is to mind it. So you protect it and mind it. 保管 Not only to protect and. To mind it, you have to be carefully as well. 小心保管
小心保管。So、tell me, please look after them. 请小心保管。Of course, in Chinese, we don't actually need to say them. That's right. So let's put those together. Here are your keys. Please look after them. This is your key. Please look after them. And you're going to be told if you lose them, you must pay a hundred yuan.、Mm-hmm. How would you say lose, Chiarosha? Diao. Diao means to drop. If you drop, okay, or lose, diao. And we're going to be using an if pattern, which is a sort of a wraparound pattern.、Mm-hmm. And how would you say if you lose them, Chiarosha? Is if, and there's a the hua. It's also if you can use 如果掉了 or you can use 掉了的话 or you can have both of them together. 如果掉了的话 all three of them means if you lose them. And the more colloquial way is the 如果掉了的话呃的话掉了的话 actually 的话 is more colloquial.、Mm-hmm. The next part we're going to say is must pay one hundred yuan. How would you say must pay, Joshua? Here we use pay. Pay is compensate. You have to compensate. Okay, so they pay. It's one of the easiest words to remember in Chinese because it actually、sounds、just by、like、sheer fluke it sounds like the English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Pay is compen to compensate、uh, for some behavior or for for the for going to work, wrongdoing. <laughs> pay is for for wrongdoing. Yeah, okay. okay, pay for the wrongdoing. So tell me, you must pay one hundred yuan. They pay one hundred yuan. Let's put that together. Tell me, if you lose them, you must pay one hundred yuan. 如果掉了的话，得赔一百元。Now, because you have to put a deposit in most Chinese hotels, you do. Yeah, that money will come from the deposit, and they're going to tell you the hundred will be deducted from the deposit. But the Chinese way of saying it's a bit different from the English way.、Mm-hmm. Literally, you say "must from the deposit deducted one hundred yuan," don't you? Yeah. So let's start with a deducted one hundred yuan. 扣一百元 deduct is 扣扣一百元 And how would you say must from the deposit? Deposit is 押金得从押金 Let's put that together. Tell me, must from the deposit deducted one hundred yuan? 得从押金扣一百元。I think we need a little bit of practice on this one. <laughs> yes, but mind you, all this you hear, you don't really say it yourself, but you, you hear. Yeah, you'll be receiving this rather than saying it. Yeah, that's right. Unless by some strange thing you're working in a hotel, but I doubt it. Tell me, here are your keys. 这是您的钥匙。Tell me, please look after them. 请小心保管。You、put them together. Tell me, here are your keys. Please look after them. 这是您的钥匙，请小心保管。Tell me, if you lose them, you must pay a hundred yuan. If 掉了的话，得赔一百元。Tell me, the hundred will be deducted from your deposit.
得从押金扣一百元。Let's mix it up a little. Tell me if you lose them, a hundred will be deducted from your deposit. If it's lost, then you have to pay a hundred yuan. Okay, good. We're not quite away from the reception area yet. No,、nope, we are still at the re-、uh, front desk. And now you want to know how we're going to pay. So we need the word credit card. 信用卡 Credit is credit. It's literally 信用卡 Trust use, isn't it? Yeah, trust use. Yes. And to take a credit card will be show, show 不收信用卡 Do accept, accept or receive? Do you receive credit card? 收不收信用卡 Ask me, do you take credit cards? 收不收信用卡 You don't even need subject here. It means you. And the reply that you would typically get is that you may use a credit card to pay for the room. For Chinese, you use the word to swipe the card.、Mm-hmm. How would you say swipe the card? Shua ka, shua is to brush or to、uh, swipe. Yes, shua ka. And how do you say you may swipe the card? Kui shua ka. Tell me, you may use the card to pay for the room. In the Chinese way, you have the room fee first, yeah. You ha- you have the room fee and which is 房费房 is from 房间费 is from 费用的 charge 房费 Okay, Chinese people love to make it short. 房费可以刷卡房费可以刷卡 And you'll probably be told that other charges you need to use cash. How do you say other charges, Chiao Lao Shi? Other charges. Others will be other charges. And pay cash. Fu xian. Fu is pay, and xian is from xian jin. Fresh money, fresh gold. <laughs> That's right. Right then, tell me other charges you have to pay cash. Again, we have other charges first. 其他费用得付现 Okay, let's put that whole sentence together. You may use the card to pay for the room. Other charges you have to pay cash. Fang fei ke yi shua ka. 其他费用得付现 Again,、um, do you take credit card? In other colloquial way, you probably can say, 可不可以刷卡 Okay, can or cannot, may or may not, swipe the card. 可不可以刷卡 And unfortunately, sometimes the an- although the answer is yes, it might involve a kind of service charge. Exactly.、Mm-hmm. So, how would you say service? 服务 And charge, 费从费用 So service charge would be 服务费 And we're going to have a five percent service charge. How would you say five percent, Chiaosha? 百分之五百分之五 And a five percent service charge. 百分之五的服务费 And in Chinese, you'd literally say "add a five percent service charge."、Mm-hmm. How do you say "add a five percent service charge"? Okay, and "add" will be 加 but here we say "take" is show,、uh, receive. So "add receive." So 加收加收 So here you have to say 加收百分之五的服务费 Tell me. Yes, but we must add a five percent service charge.
收，但是得加收百分之五的服务费。Let's quickly review this with Ask Me, Tell Me. Ask me, do you take a credit card? 收不收信用卡 Or you can we can do the colloquial way. 可不可以刷卡可不可以刷卡 And the answer might be, you may use the card to pay for the room. All other charges, you need to pay cash. Fang fee can be swiped. Other expenses must be paid. Or you might also have this answer. Yes, but we must add a five percent service charge. 收，但是得加收百分之五的服务费。We're not away from reception quite yet, are we? We're nearly there. Yes, we are still at the front desk because now you have more questions to ask. The security question, valuables. Yeah. So we're going to ask: Is there a safe? How would you say a safe? So that's literally a protection box. Is that correct? That's right. As actually, is bao is from is from protection, and xian actually means danger. So it protected from danger. Bao xian, and there's a xiang box. Bao xian xiang. Again, beautifully logical. Of course, we are Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me, is there a safe? 有没有保险箱 ？And it's very common in four-star plus hotels in Chinese. You would be told every room has one. Tell me, every room has one. 每个房间里都有。Ah, so that's literally every room inside has one. Yeah. And this one, you don't have to say it, okay? But if you've ever seen them, you'll know that they're good for wallets and passports, but not particularly good if you're going to stick in a video camera. So you're going to ask, is it big enough? Will my camera fit in?、Mm -hmm. Right. The first word we need is camera. 相机相 is photo. 机 is machine or device. Okay, any kind of mechanical device will be 机 And the next word we need is fit in. 放得进去 Then we need to ask, will my camera fit in? 我的相机放得进去吗 Now the whole question we're going to ask is, is it big enough? Will my camera fit in? 够大吗？我的相机放得进去吗 ？So the receptionist will tell you maybe it won't fit in. 可能放不进去。Fit in is 放得进去，放得进去。And can I fit in? Will be 放不进去。So、this is a very common sentence pattern. This is yes, it? yeah, 放得进去 or 放不进去 The obvious solution is that the、uh, front desk, the reception, look after it for you.、Mm -hmm. You may hear them say, "You can hand it in to reception to look after." How would you say "hand it in," Cholasha? 交给交给 someone, hand it in to someone, and hand it into reception. 交给柜台
Tell me you can hand it in to reception to look after. Look after again. <laughs> Do you <laughs> remember? <laughs> yeah, Bao Guan. Protection and mind. Yeah, to protect and to mind. Now, the reason you can do that is because they have a large safe. Mm -hmm. Tell me, here we have a large safe. Yeah, I know it sounds funny in English, but we do say that 我们这 means here we, okay. Oh, please. Just the Chinese way of saying it. Yeah. Right, let's quickly review this before we wrap up the lesson. Okay. Ask me, is there a safe? Tell me, every room has one. Ask me, is it big enough? Will my camera fit in? Tell me, maybe it won't fit in. Tell me, you can hand it in to reception to look after. Tell me, here we have a large safe. Right, that about wraps it up for this um, Chinese language builder on hotels, at the reception part anyway. There's more to come, isn't there, Jolasha? That's right. So now we are at the, still at the front desk. But next time, I promise you, we, you will leave the... You go upstairs or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> next time, we are going to do some complaints that you are not happy with the hotel room. Mm. So you are going to do some complaints. Okay, thank you very much. Time for us to say 再见. Have fun.